Hi, it's me again, and I just wanted to run something by you in this quick little video, because I saw this article in the sun and I thought, that's complete and utter rubbish. And I'm interested to see what you people out there think of it. Let's take a look together. Sexist Wimbledon commentators Boris Becker and John Inverdale slammed for calling players fiance pretty. Oh no. Now let me just skip through this story and then I'm interested to see what you think of it because I have my own opinions on it. So BBC tennis pair Boris Becker and John Inverdale faced a volley of criticism after calling a player's fiance very pretty. They were commentating on Novak Djokovic's Wimbledon quarter-final yesterday when they spotted opponent Martin Fukovic's, I'm not a fan of tennis, partner. As the camera focused on her, Inverdale, 63, said, her name is Adette Bozjormenyi. Don't know. And he said, if you're a tennis player, it's always good to have a partner called Annette, which is an excellent joke. So this is the bit that got the internet up in arms, right? Becker, 53, chipped in. They do say they have the most beautiful women in Hungary. I wouldn't know about that, but she's certainly very pretty. <gasps> How dare he? Women in sports, Stephanie Hilborn, said her charity has spent decades trying to end objectification. She added, when two men are comfortable talking about women in this way, never mind on live TV, it shows there is still more to do. Now, just so you have all the information here, I will show you the pictures, or some of the pictures, the son included, of this lady called Annette. So there's Annette. I'm sure she's not to everybody's taste, but I'm sure she's to quite a few people's taste, men or women. You know, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? But do you think they were wrong to call her very pretty when she stood out in the crowd? One, sh is she a tennis player? I'm not sure she is, is she? I don't know. I don't. If she is, then fair enough. Women in sport charity can comment on that. But I, don't, I just don't get it. I just don't get why that's wrong. And for one good reason, years ago, I was dating a girl, shock horror, I know, a girl wanted to date me, and uh, we were watching the football, and every time David Beckham come on, there would be a comment about how good looking he is, or his tiny little shorts, and things like that. Now that is objectification, but it's okay, because a girl was doing it, for one, and two, it's alright to find somebody attractive, isn't it? Why is that wrong now? And all I did, did I kick off and say, that's wrong, you can't objectify David Beckham, you can only talk about his sporting prowess? No, I just turned to her and I went, yeah, like you'd ever have a chance with David bloody Beckham. And that was the end of it. It's fine. I don't see the problem with it. What do you think? Do you think that's terrible objectification? Let me know in the comments below. So women in sports, Stephanie Hilborn continued... Shouldn't we be inspiring girls to play sport rather than talking about what women look like? The BBC said Boris Becker made a light-hearted comment not intended to cause offence. In 2013, Inverdale was slated when he said French tennis star Marion Batoli was never going to be a looker. <laughs> That's just funny. We should be inspiring girls to play sport. Yes, of course we should. Of course we should, but it doesn't mean they can't be pretty and play sport does it i don't i don't understand it i don't understand it and my current partner she's spanish and we watch formula one together usually the highlights on demand four and uh she's got a bit of a thing for carlos Sainz, and she sees carlos Sainz, and there's noises and i know what she's thinking i don't mind i don't have a problem with it she's allowed to find somebody attractive and if these guys think she's pretty they think she's pretty what can you do about that I'm not coming down either way on the fence on whether she's pretty or not. That's down to you guys to let me know in the comments if that was wrong or right or what you think about the whole world we live in now when you can't open your mouth without someone on the internet kicking off at you. Now, speaking of someone on the internet kicking off, let it all go down in the comments and I'll be reading them all and I'll try and reply to a few where I can. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button. That'll keep you up to date with my latest videos. It doesn't cost anything. No reason not to do it. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.